Morning traders, it's Matt here from the Forex Coach and um, I didn't take a video trade yesterday uh, as always I'm always in sort of lots of positions and stuff like that but this account that I do on the video updates and on the free signals I didn't actually take a trade yesterday never um, had anything set up that I, that I wanted so um, I have got a set up this morning and I'm just taking a short on pound yen this morning um, but there is a couple of issues with the trade and that being that there is some conflict on this trade so as far as um, the trade's concerned on the shorter term frame um, we're a bit overbought so I'm looking for you know for it to come off and on the um, mid time frames it's got the potential here to roll over as we can see here from the indicators and the price action and um, potentially it's a um, lower high and um, we're in this sort of potential um, downtrend however this could just be this move sort of from here to here could just be the retracement of this sort of uptrend here and if you look at the bigger time frames on the weekly charts you know it looks like it's got that potential to push up um, I'd like to see it come up to this level 162.770 and on the dailies um, again it looks like it's got that potential to now break up and push higher so that means I've got conflict on my um, on my trade so what I'm going to do is really the key for me is the close of the four hour candle at 10 o'clock and I believe that if this closes above this price envelope then we're going to look for this to then continue to break higher and have a secondary push up and get a histogram that kind of double has a double push up and you know comes up high like this that being said there is always the potential that this could come off so um i've taken the trade although i've got the conflict and what I'm going to look to do is um, if I can get an early exit for half the trade then I can bring the stop down on the second half and make it a safe trade therefore if it does then turn around and push higher then um, I won't be you know taking a loss um, the other thing to mention is my indicator as always I will look to take profits if we do get oversold on the five minute chart according to my indicators here as per this strategy um, so that's the trade hopefully it gives you a bit of an idea of the reasons behind it and um, we will sit in this and see how it progresses if we can get out of this first half quickly that would be nice because it will mean that then the second the stop on the second half can be brought down and it will make it um, a risk free trade Okay, we're just coming down to TP1 now, so hopefully we can get out of this first half. Then, as I say, once that's closed out, I will look to move the stop loss down. So it came down close then to TP1 and uh, since pushed back up. So um, I need to watch this trade because coming up to 9 o'clock and potentially. This could be one of them things that tricks people into getting short um, for it to then have a really strong close on this hour candle and it just carry on this push higher. So um, it's one of those trades you've really got to be careful with because it can all set up and look nice but it could just be um, sort of you know almost a trick to catch people out. Um, yeah it looks like it's going going to roll over, it looks like it's going to go short and then towards the end of this hour we just have this push up and a stronger um, strong close so that's what I'm kind of watching out for and a bit skeptical towards um, but as it stands at the moment it's still okay um, we just had this quick push down and then you can see this um, you know these two conflicting candles effectively or three conflicting candles here on the 15 minute chart Okay, so it has pushed up a fair bit here, this pound yen. Um, so as I said, the risk is that on the four hour chart, this continues to have a push higher here. 
and um, this isn't ready to roll over yet so we've only now got 40 minutes to the close of this four hour bar um, so it's not really the price action that I was looking for it started off to be the price action I was looking for so I need to make a decision as to what I'm going to do with this trade and um, I've got two options um, well I've got three options well the first one isn't really an option it could just push up and stop me out if it does start to come back over I've got to keep an eye on this four hour candle and decide whether to just try and get out of the trade uh, sort of break even or whether to see if it can um, see if it can you know have a have a good push down and close negatively on this four hour candle in the next 40 minutes so I'm watching closely here because as I say this is not the price action that I was looking for I wanted the price action to just continue this sort of this move down from here not this sort of push back up <clears throat> Hi guys, just back on this um, pound gen and um, it's not really done a lot and it's getting to the realms of being oversold here um, so it's got the potential now to continue this move up because we have had this strong um, this strong close on this four hour candle so you know there is the possibility that this could come off now and that's what I was planning for but I'm in a bit of a difficult situation because I need to plan what to do because technically my trading strategy is to try and be exiting when these get in the realms of oversold. Now it's not there yet so I can hold on for a bit um, but I am thinking to close half the position off just to reduce the risk on this trade now. Okay, so I closed out half of the trade um, pretty much at the entry price there. Um, as I said, this has got now the potential to continue pushing higher. We have had this strong close on the four hour candle, which um, I wasn't looking to see that. <clears throat> now it has got the potential to come down still, um, but as I say, it's very much a conflicting trade now. So I've just had to manage my risk accordingly and um, exited half, moved the stop loss down on the second half to these highs and now just targeting the um, target price 1, TP1 on this trade for the second half. <clears throat> okay just back with this um, pound yen and um, it's, n it's not the price action that I really signed up for. It's got the chance of coming off here, but um, it's now got the potential to come down to this sort of, um, price envelope on the one hour and then push up. It could be the start of a roll over here, but as I say, the entry was taken off the five minute chart. So <clears throat> I think as a result of that, um, I'm gonna close out. It's just pretty much below um, break even. We're around about break even. Um, so yeah I'm gonna get out of this trade and uh, it's a flat trade so okay so we're out the pound yen but um, I've just seen an opportunity on the dollar yen now so I've entered a short trade on the dollar yen and um, price action this one looks like it's done a bit more on the four hour. There's still the risk that we've got this trend line up here. There's still the risk that it could want to push up and break through um, these highs. So I need to keep my eye on that. Um, but on the one hour chart, you know, we've had some price movement come down slightly. So could this be the start of it trying to turn around? You know, we've got this positive histogram. So could we see some um, you know a bit of a pullback on this before then if it does want to go up and break these highs and break this um, trend line up there does it want to pull back first so we're overbought on the five minute chart and um, we've had this move up come down so and a push back up so I'm looking for this to now roll over from here and come back down again still got the conflict because the overall picture on all all these sort of yen trades look like there is um, weakness in the yen 
and longer term and that we're going to get a breakthrough of these highs and you know breakthrough a breakout up here somewhere so um we've taken the short for now anyway and i think the um stock markets will possibly have an impact on this if they do start to see um some downside action um, so we're uh, keep eye on it and see how it goes Okay, just back and um, we have started to break down on the dollar yen um, <clears throat> So we're just looking to come down now to TP1 and uh, Hopefully then it can carry on breaking down further. I think there's just been news out. Let me just check looking at the price action uh, one for yeah, so we've just had um, four minutes ago. We've just had um, jobless claims and GDP from the US. So I don't even look at the news to be honest. Sometimes I sort of, if I see the price action or something major's going on, then I have a look at it. But as a general rule, um, I don't really look at the news much at all. Um, just going to go back to the pound yen, um, because it did actually break down after we exited that trade and so we got out around about here at this level and uh, it ended up then breaking down so unfortunately um missed out on that one so the analysis was there and was good looking at the four hour chart you know it did then come off some and it still might come down but again it's still got that potential to push push up still it's still kind of conflicting trade there but um, it was just unfortunate with regards to the price action this we had have had this price action here and this initial breakdown it would have been okay because it had that extra push up it meant that um, the trade was kind of affected by that although when I we did exit um, we weren't actually officially oversold was in it minus 89 and um, as a result of that, I could have actually technically still trading within my trading rules. I could have stayed in that trade. Um, but I got out and ended up taking the um, dolly in anyway. So either way, you know, hopefully we're going to end up with some profit today. So um, just thought I'd go over and just show that what happened with that trade. So back to dollar yen coming down. So I'm just going to pause the video for now and I'll come back to you in a minute. Okay, so TP1 has been hit on dollar yen. And hopefully we can break down a bit more. In fact, we can now move the stop down on this trade. And so I'll move the stop down to um, just above these guys here. Okay, just back. Uh, we're getting to the realms of oversold here. We've also got um, resistance support, sorry, on the four hour chart. We're coming up to the close of this four hour candle. So it's a good chance here that we could come down and then have another bounce up. So I'm just going to exit the second half of that trade there. If we do get another bounce up, then I'm going to um, look to get in another short later on. Okay, just back and we can see that this um, yen did come up, so it was a good exit um, that we took down there. And um, it's hard to say because it could roll over from here. It's a nice short, but my um, indicators aren't in the right position for me to take it, which means for me to get another short on this dollar, it would have to probably push up, maybe a break of these highs, and then look to roll over to get in on another short on this dollar yen. Okay, just back, and um, it didn't quite get up enough for me to get the short in on the dollar yen to so the second short. Um, unfortunately, it had this sort of secondary divergence type move down, and then it came up. Um, what I was looking for was it to come straight up there, which would have given it to you know run about this zone, and then to get in a short there. Um, it did then come up, so I was keeping my eye on it, but I just needed this to come up slightly higher. Um, on my indicator here in order for me to have got the short in um, it's now looking like it's starting to roll over 
because I do think there is this potential for this to come back down. Um, but I've still got in the back of my mind the pattern on the daily really looks like we could be getting this break up. Now, um, what the only conflict I've got to that is, as I've mentioned before, is the indices. Um, because I do feel that we've got probably going to get some sort of rolling over the indices over the course of the next um, next few months, in which case it would suggest that you know we're going to see some risk off and some strength coming back into the yen. So, but um, as I say, the pattern at the moment shows that you know this has got potential upside here still, even though shorter term. It looks like it could um, it could roll over on this four hour chart. But that being said, as always with the markets, this could be a matter of you know it rolls over, comes down to you know this twenty one period moving average. Loads of traders getting short. This will be stops all above these highs here, all the way up, and then we then get this um, breakthrough and this break up. So it's hard to judge at the moment, as I say, but there is opportunity to have that secondary short. Um, on the yen here, dollar yen. But as I say, we never quite got up to the level in order to get the entry in there. Anyway, that's the end of the video today. Um, we had the flat trade this morning on the pound yen, um, which subsequently did come off somewhat um, and would have um, been quite a good trade. Do I feel bad about that? No, it's just trading. You know, I've stuck to my rules ish. So. Um, I could have held out a bit longer, but you know, it's just the nature of trading. We then got in on the pound yen anyway, so we did sort of make some money out of the um, the yen strength coming in. Um, but as I say, the pound it came off somewhat. It is now having a bit of a bounce. Um, but we did have the winning trade on the dollar yen. I hope you've had a good day's trading. Uh, it's Friday tomorrow. Um, and uh, so it's the last trading day, I think, before Christmas. Um, so I shall be um, hopefully getting a couple of trades um, tomorrow. And then uh, I'll see you after Christmas.